All right, there's a purpose for this video. It's 6.30 p.m. And it's Sunday, 10-22-2023. Just, just work with me. I'm going to walk down here. See, there's a cop right there. They got fences and stuff right here. So, it used to be a shelter here. And you could stay here. But the thing was, you had to stay here within a year. Let's get in the street so we can show you this. Watch this, dog. So y'all got a lot of stuff with these cops. So they ain't going around messing with them. It's going around trying to get some answers. Watch. So let me just show you right here. Because I was going to stay here one time. Yeah. And I found out you got to stay in there for a year. So I said, damn, you know, if me and my lady ever get back together at that time, right, you can't come out. So I told you, I got a lot of stuff. It ain't a lot of stuff. It's just a lot of stuff I know now. So watch they are in... Let me show you they in violation right now. Watch this. Not just because of this building. Just the back street. Ain't really no drugs going on. Oh. Damn. We got the second district. Hey, how you doing, officer? And, and your name is? Hey, you from the second district. I'm shocked to see you here on Westmoreland. Yes, sir. In between G and F Street. So this ain't your district, but they got you operating. So you ain't do nothing to me, but I had problems with your officers. But let me just get to the point, because I was hoping you was the 24th or the 25th. I ain't coming at your neck. I'm just sharing something with you while I was coming. A lot of dope heads go in this place right here, right? They put the fence up. But before this place, uh, as far as the dope heads going, it was a shelter. And they used to let you come stay for like a year. You couldn't leave. I was going to be a part of that program. But then I seen all the homeless people sleeping outside and stuff. So maybe the rules were strict, but let me get straight to the point. that I know y'all like that. I had a situation last year around this time with ShotRite. Yes, on Aramango. And I found out the 24th, 25th, one of them are responsible. So I have a lot of stuff with the 24th, 25th, sir. And I lived around here also. My name is Walter McNeil. I lived on Pratt Street. And I found out from 2015 to now. The reason why I found out now because after Press Street, I moved up Frankfurt and then the 15th District. Oh, you do got something to do with this. You know why? Because the 15th District and the 2nd District and the detectives, yes, I love it, was all together. And when I had situations, right, they all split up. And here I go. Bless karma. Karma comes around. This is not even karma. It's called blessing because karma comes in many ways. And here go my karma. They come back blessing. You know why? I've been violated so many times by the police. No matter where they go, and I see them, right, it wake me up to a new situation that I didn't report or didn't get a DC number. So I thought you were the 24th, 25th. But when I catch them back here, they're going to get grinded up because the 25th is responsible for Maxis, Broad and Airy, Broad and Germantown. Rasul punched me in my mouth and knocked my tooth out. And they only put simple assault that day. You see this cane, right? I had one like this. He beat me with it. See? And his handprints are still on me from 10 10. Yes, sir, 21. And the day is what? 10, 22. Yeah, 23. Right. So I got two years and some days over my statues. But the thing is, July this year, I seen a DC report. I'm going to speed it up. I seen a DC number report. And in the process of seeing a DC number report, sir, you know what I did, officer? I called it, talked to a supervisor, then called back, talked to someone to get smart with me, and talked to a third person, said, come in. I came in, make it real short. You know what they did? Right. They say they're going to change the simple assault to aggravate. And that was July 2023 this year. So I think I have a chance to still sue who? The 25th police station, sir. Because they haven't helped me with Rasu. And this year, me and my lady, we testified, pointing him out. Yes, sir. And you know how we got to point him out and all that, sir? Because I took the license plate number off the car he was driving, operating that day I got hurt. And this year, July 2023, the police officers, Mr. Detective DeGiorgio, Miss Briggs, Mr. Bullops, and also Detective Cooley or Dooley. Four detectives called that person number and talked to a lady and said, where is your car at? So they talked to the lady and the lady, yes, sir, I was just sharing with you. I thought you were the 25th, but you're the second. I know that. And like I shared with you, the second the 15th and the detective was together at Levitt. And I had so many situations. 
No detectives out of all the D.C. numbers. But don't worry, you at the second district. Mr. Sione said, Sergeant Sione at the second district said he was going to help me out and write a hell of a lawsuit for Holy Redeem right down the street from y'all. Told you, I've been in y'all. Yes, sir, your parking lots got so many videos. I've been in your office. So, and I live down the street from you, Casher and Lonely. Told you. See, I lived around here close to the 24th, 25th, so much stuff happened. Right. Then I moved up Pratt. Y'all was, y'all was there then. I tell, I tell you what. Tell Ms. Mo I said hi. Yeah, 15 District. Yes, sir. And Ms. Agnew. Yes, 15 District. And Mr. Cannon. He was 15. He came to the 2nd District. Told you. And Mr. DeGangi. He was in the 15. He came to the 2nd District. Told you. Because I was assaulted, Mr. 2nd District Officer, by Mr. Sweet. Yes, sir. He retired already. Mr. DeGangi. Yes, sir. And Mr. Vega. So let me share something with you before I go, sir. I was at AID Eternal Affairs or IAD Eternal Affairs. Yes, sir. It's me versus them. This year, August 16, they forced me away, 2023, and called the second district on me. And your whole boys was up there this year. See how I catch the second district down here in the area I used to live at? Right. But when I tell all the cops all my problems before all this, they didn't take care of it. And guess what? I got new situations still rolling and active. And like I said, I'm about to leave. I thought you were the 25th or the 24th. Today in charge of ShopRite who stole my Similac milk. Yes, sir. And the rest of my groceries that I brought and my flowers around this time last year. So if you want to help me, you can give me a report for around the time last year. Because I have up to two and we had one. So. Like I said, you have a good night, sir. I'm going to get my money from my man. But I'm going to catch the 24th or the 25th around here. See, I stopped calling them. They told me to come in there. Yes, sir, the detectives. And, and, and every time I do all that, nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. And when I do come, they say, the detectives out here serving warrants. Like, come on. I ain't been locked up for 12 years. I'm going to seek all my remedy. Especially on Melinda Hopewell, 15th District. Yes, sir. She got canceled. Eternal Affairs, Larry Krasner, Miss Outlaw, and Mr. John Stanford, the man I just seen on the news, said all the police, you know the police that got killed, you know what they said, the one at the airport, right, we are all family, because the city of Philadelphia, yes sir, and I'm from the city, right, I'm family then, that's what Mr. John Stanford said, the commissioner who's on my paper of AID, against who, a 15th district police that got canceled, but guess what? Yes, I'm going to write Ms. Outlaw up, who resigned already, told you. I still got a statue. Mr. John Stanford and Larry Krasner, sir. The DA stole my phone. Yes, sir. In the DA building, Larry Krasner, they stole my phone. Ms. Torres, Mr. Chad Jeter or Jeter Chad. Mr. Ralph was there, and I seen Mr. Ralph. He had verified it. Yes, sir. I made my reports already, sir. I'm just letting you know. You know, I'm safe and cool. You know, I got a homie over there. My man's around the corner, you know, they do killings around. Hey, listen, I'm all right. But I thank you for your targeting and service because you didn't do nothing to me and you're better than my mental health counselor. Thank you for letting me get it out because I'm tired of crying it out now. But thank you for letting me get it out, sir. God bless you, sir. And for the record, you didn't do nothing wrong to me and I appreciate you and love you. But let me get this out. Thank you, sir. You have a blessed night, sir. I'm the wolf. Shadow, weed out.